Member for Nelson Creston. Thank you, Speaker. I have lived in Latin America, Asia, and Africa, and have seen people living in deep poverty. But people don't only live in poverty in the Global South, but in each one of our communities in British Columbia. This morning, I had an anti-vax protesters outside of my office, and I was checking in on my staff to ensure they felt safe. And my CA said, thank goodness we have such a good relationship with the people that hang out in our back alley, because I know if I have to escape, they'll have my back. Many of these people who, who we know by name and frequently hang out in our back alley behind my office live well below the poverty line. Many of them are currently homeless or have experienced homelessness. Our government is working hard not only to house these people, but ensure they have the support they need through our Ministry of Social Development and Poverty Reduction. Globally, the number of people living in poverty is expected to rise by approximately 150 million people this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. That is why I rise today to raise awareness of the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty. This year's theme is Building Forward Together, Ending Persistent Poverty, Respecting All People and Our Planet. In 2018, the Poverty Reduction Strategy Act set targets to reduce overall poverty by 25 per cent and child poverty by 50 per cent by 2024. In 2019, BC lifted 185,000 people, including 81,000 children, out of poverty. And while this is great news, we need to make sure we aren't slowing down. We need to continue to ensure adequate supports are in place and that people in BC, our friends and our neighbours, including the people who hang out in my back alley, have the opportunity to get ahead. All British Columbians need to know that we have their back. Thank you, Speaker.